The price of energy has more than doubled in the past year. More than 40% of households are now estimated to be living in fuel poverty, that's according to the SRI. The unprecedented energy crisis is threatening the future of so many viable businesses. We're in the middle of an energy crisis, and like the housing crisis, the government's response has been slow, wholly inadequate, and frankly, divorced from reality. Today, the Social Democrats are repeating our call for pragmatic and effective measures that will actually benefit households and SMEs. Each of our proposals are proven to work and can be implemented if the government were willing. Targeted energy price caps, which caps the price of average energy usage for households and businesses, would ensure that everyone can avail of affordable rates for their essential energy needs. Germany has recently brought in this measure and it has proven very effective. We also need a windfall tax on the massive profits of energy corporations. It is simply immoral that large companies are making millions, and in some cases billions, off the backs of families struggling to get by and SMEs at risk of closure. We're all focused on providing practical solutions. The government's household energy credits could have been directed at those who need them the most. It's just so wrong that all of us in this house, along with ministers, senior civil servants, CEOs, banking executives, got the same payments as pensioners, as carers, and as people on disability allowance. Any system that treats millionaires the same as people living below the poverty line is simply unjust. The Social Democrats have consistently called for a cash transfer to individuals that reflects their income levels so that those who are at risk of poverty are the ones who will be most protected. A fundamental principle for us is that we must make sure any financial supports or measures are targeted towards those who need it the most. In contrast to the government's approach to date, the targeted energy cap we are proposing would mean that wealthier households do not disproportionately benefit while also incentivising energy conservation. Several other EU countries have introduced targeted caps, providing certainty and security for consumers and for businesses. Germany, for example, has a targeted energy price cap, which caps the price of approximately 80% of average energy usage, cushioning homes and businesses from dramatic energy price shocks and providing certainty about costs. A windfall tax on grotesque profiteering is a moral and economic imperative. Last year, Shell's profits doubled to 36 billion, while ExxonMobil made 51.5 billion profit. Closer to home in the first six months of 2022, Borgash energy profits increased by 74%. The Electricity Supply Board's profits more than tripled to 390.3 million. Profits at the carb gas field tripled to an estimated 560 million. All of these should be subjected to tax to fund supports for families and small businesses who are struggling. The Minister for Environment committed to windfall tax in August 22 and the EU authorised its introduction in September 2022. Why has it not been introduced yet? What is the delay? Many small and medium enterprises are on the brink of closure. Shops, cafes, restaurants and other businesses in West Cork been under severe pressure. I cannot emphasise how important these retailers and hospitality are to towns and villages across the country. They are economic engines in rural communities and vital sources of employment. The skyrocketing energy um, and electricity bills are terrifying for family owned and small businesses. This is as well as rising insurance premium and premiums and rising food costs and transport. There is a pressing need to provide targeted supports for SMEs. The government's temporary business energy support scheme is demonstrably not fit for purpose. Just 26 million has so far been drawn down from a budget of 1.2 billion. The government's response so far shows a lack of consultation with families and businesses, no awareness of the suffering families are enduring or the uncertainty that SMEs are facing. We are arguing for proven social democratic measures. A windfall tax will work in tandem with a targeted price cap to ensure that energy companies cannot price gouge, protecting households and businesses. These measures should have been introduced months ago. Why the delays? Where are the government's priorities?